Yo, what is up guys? I'm Jacob, your host, bringing you game-changing focus on all things stream-related. Welcome to the Changer Zone. Today, we'll be talking about the Elgato Stream Deck. An awesome piece of equipment to help you out with all of your gaming and stream needs. It helps you multitask many functions. In fact, that's specifically what we're going to be talking about today. How to create a multi-action button. Thank you so much for your support. And of course, for hitting that like button and smashing that sub. Don't forget that we're also live on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash GC focus pretty much every day after 10.30 p.m. Pacific. So if you have any stream-related questions, feel free to stop in the chat and I will do my best. All right, without further ado, let's get into the Elgato Stream Deck. So when it comes to creating the multi-action button, once you're logged into your Elgato Stream Deck, you're going to right-click on one of the empty squares and you'll have an option that says Create Multi-Action. Once you click this, you'll have all these little boxes stacked on top of one another, just basically showing how one scene can fit behind the next and then the next. So you can go ahead and title it whatever you want. So for me, I'm just going to choose multi-action. And then what that's going to allow us to do is then click this arrow right here. Once we click it, we're going to have a drag and drop selection. So for myself, I use uh, Streamlabs OBS, but this works for other things too. Uh, you can use it for regular OBS, I believe you can even use it for YouTube, audio sources, media sources, um, pretty much uh, anything that's actionable off of the Streamlabs uh, prompt cues like credits or spin the wheel. Uh, so you can choose a sequence of events. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down here to Streamlabs OBS. And for example, let's say we want to start with a scene. So we can click the scene drag it on over and then you can title it we're just going to call it scene one and then you're going to go ahead and click your drop down menu and you can pick pretty much whatever scene you want to do so in this case we're going to do uh, from our apex collection and we're going to do the starting soon menu okay and what we want to do is we also want to add like a delay um, which is something that took me a little while to figure out um, it is a separate option in here. I think it's up from Streamlabs. Uh, yes, right here. So in the Stream Deck, you can click the drop down to open it up and then grab the delay and bring it over. And then you can even choose how many milliseconds you want it to delay by. This allows for scene transitions to finish completely before it moves on to the next option. So I was uh, creating an action, a multi-action where my webcam would toggle all the way around all four corners of the screen bouncing around as um, you know something funny happened so but it would just go really fast like like almost too fast to be worth doing uh, but you could bring the little stream deck delay in and then have it in between each scene and it slows down the transition so we're gonna go ahead and do that we're gonna bring in another scene so that we can see how it works and then go ahead and title that scene two. We'll pick our collection and uh, we'll pick our scene. Okay. So now this is going to be really interesting to test out because I haven't tried going in between different channel settings. Um, so I have one for YouTube content that has its own set of sources and scenes and I have a whole another one for Twitch content and uh, we're gonna see if it switches between the two so here's the multi action in action <laughs> get it that's a game changer so it didn't quite work smoothly in between different collections but now we're in the collection so we're gonna go ahead and click it again just to see Maybe it needed a longer delay because um, it was only 500 milliseconds. We're going to start it over again now that we're in this new collection. And there we are just chatting. All right, so now that we're in the new set of sources and scenes, we're going to hit the button one more time. And we can see here that it was a very quick transition right there from stream starting to just chatting. So fast that actually it didn't even load the rest of my images in the back. So what we're going to do here is we're going to up the millisecond delay 
We're gonna change it by 1500. And we're gonna try this again. All right, so we successfully loaded the first page and now we loaded the second page. So it did in fact do both transitions. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add a delay again. We're gonna up this one by quite a bit. We're gonna do 3000 milliseconds and see if that gives the stream enough time to switch. So we'll go ahead and transition over to some of the Apex plays that we have on Twitch and just kind of giving you an example of how some of this would look like in action. Um, there's also other things you can do like prompting audio cues, such as like a crowd applause or a sound effect. Uh, many, many things that you can do with this. There'll be more videos showing you how to do the sound cues, how to put text into your Twitch channel or your YouTube channel comment section uh, so that way you can respond to people with the push of a button. Um, how to adjust your lighting, uh, temperature, many, many different options with this. And of course, I have um, my stream equipment links below. I am an Amazon affiliate, so any of the links you click below do help out the channel. Uh, but I do honestly use and love all the, the things that I put down there or plan on getting them. So check out the Elgato Stream Deck. They just came out with the extra large version, which has basically got more buttons on it. I'm thinking about doing it now that I'm adding sound cues. So at first when I was just doing scene transitions and just a little bit of back and forth um, sources with Twitch. It wasn't really that big of a deal, but now that I'm broadening, uh, broadening my horizons into audio, um, having more options of audio um, clips in front of me at one time would be fine. Um, I'd appreciate it as opposed to going through different folder, 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 as opposed to going through different folders that I've set up on here. Thank you so much for your time and we'll be back with some more Stream 101 and uh, setup. If you have any questions on how to do something for your stream, go ahead and leave them in the comments below and I'll try to get to them. And uh, we'll be putting out a gaming montage video next. Uh, it should release on Monday. All right, have a great night. See you in stream, 10.30 p.m. Pacific time on Twitch. I got a straight up voice changer for the stream now, dude. I'm just kidding. He, he's oh like, yeah, baby, we're gonna win tonight. We got Dixon on our team, and it's time to fight. Sometimes I feel I've got to run away. I've got to.